Store. <laughs> okay, we are. We're live. Dot. Ready? Hello, it's Record Store Day. <laughs> How you doing? Dad, you say it's Record Store Day. It's Record Store Day. <laughs> it's Record Store Day. It is Record Store Day. Record Look at that. Store Day. Okay, <laughs> bring it down. We are here on location at the Compact Disc Center in Bethlehem, PA for Record Store Day. I'm here with Ben Youngerman of Molten Metal Media and Stacey Gable, and we also have Bren waiting in the wings uh, to play. Uh, so <laughs> let, you can see them. Uh, first, let's talk about where we are. Ben, can you tell us more about the Compact Disc Center, which, don't be fooled by its name, there are tons of vinyls here and all Yes, of, of course. Uh, yeah, it is record store day, so uh, the vinyl are the big things today. Um, but yeah, we're at the Compact Disc Center. Uh, it's been your neighborhood music store since 1989. They've gone through it all. CDs, vinyl, CDs again, vinyl again, <laughs> all the stuff. Well, uh, it's great that they like survived the MP3s, yeah. you know, and now we're back. Like, we were just talking before we started about how, I don't know, if I'm going to put you on the spot to remember the how many billions of dollars of vinyls oh, I got it. Yeah. Again. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So this was the first year in 2021. It was the first year since 1996, uh, no, sorry, since 1986, that vinyl sales have gone over $1 billion in sales, which is crazy. Uh, and the other neat stat was uh, for the first time since 96, CD sales and vinyl sales were both up at the same time. So if you think about it, like the nineties, like CDs were up and vinyls were down right. and like, it's gone up and down. Mm -hmm. CDs have been going down for a little bit, but now they're both up again. I think people just appreciate having physical music, something you can hold, something you own, and like you know, the packaging and everything adds to it. It's a piece Wait, of art. It's for me, I, I know Spotify, you, you might hate it, love it, mm -hmm. but for me, it allowed me to find a lot of new artists during the pandemic who then I bought their physical stuff because Spotify was basically their advertisement, you know, and I'm going down. I'm able to go on their website and buy things. Um, and before we we get into, I want to go through some of the the records that we absolutely we pulled out. Wait, I did not. Crystal, you're gonna have to talk about this one. Well, I mean, I don't have. It's Lana Del Rey. I pulled it out for you. Lana Del Rey. <laughs> <laughs> she's a little very uh, depressing. She's a little depressing. She definitely drinks wine. Uh, talks about some inappropriate things, but she's great. She's fun. And this she's record, herself. which is in every house in America. Fleetwood Max rumors. I did find this, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, it is a live in Los Angeles recording, Faith No More, from 1990, uh, which is pretty exciting. This is even before their 1992 Angel Dust uh, record, which is one of my favorite of all time. What else do we get here? Were you at that show? How old were you at that show? George? I would have been nine. nine. So I technically, I guess I could have gone. My brother might have been at at this show. This is Pink Floyd. Live at Kenworth in 1990. I think this is also coming home with me today, too. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> I taught her that a few minutes ago, and now it's never going to stop. Thanks, Ben. Oh my God. You're welcome. So one thing we learned on Record Store Day is how to throw up the devil horns. It's good. Um, and Nine Inch Nails, Pretty Hate Machine, which I think I already have a copy of this, but yeah. it can't hurt. What did I, you pick up? I got some good stuff to share. Uh, I'm going to buy half of these. Uh, the other oh, ones I own are... Oh, this is my pile, pile yeah. Pile uh, so no, uh, this is a cool seven inch that uh, is one of the... So uh, as part of Here, Record Store... Yeah. yeah, so Record Store Day, just to explain it to folks that don't know, uh, yeah, 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 15th yeah. year of Record Store Day, which is awesome. It's just celebrating independent record stores. Uh, these places are treasures. We should all go to them and support them. You know, um, it helps the musicians, uh, helps small businesses like uh, Mary... Who's been here mm -hmm. since '89? Um, yeah, so it's it's a day to celebrate those and um, in support of these stores, artists and uh, and labels put out special editions of a lot of different stuff, uh, things that have never been out before, uh, cool variants on different colors that are only available. Yeah, uh, sorry everybody, um, but Taylor yeah. Swift. There's no more Taylor. That was Swift the hot left. item of the day. We had I think a dozen uh, seven inches, so just a single of Taylor Swift's uh, Lake uh, Lakes uh, single. Um, oh, it was just a single. Yeah, it was a single. So it was a seven inch, uh, two different versions of the same song on each side. Um, but yeah, uh, Taylor Swift is the official Record Store Day ambassador for this year. Well, she's um, great. So, so we thank her very much for being <laughs> cool like that. Um, so yeah. So yeah, okay. So your seven yeah, inches so of Foo Fighters. Inch, Foo Fighters, uh, different versions of a couple of songs off their latest album. One is with, uh, I 
believe, uh, Mark Ronson. The other one's with um, Preservation Hall Jazz is Band. Sticks? What is this? Uh, no, this is a cool. This is a cool album. This is an indie store exclusive. This is my uh, one of my favorite bands, Ghost. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought they said Sticks. Either yeah, way, that came out a few Good. weeks ago, but I love that uh, album. You should get it. Uh, oh, this is a cool one. I'm getting this for my friend just because he's a huge Muppets nerd. Um, we so, listen to yeah. the. What do we listen to? It's um, the Muppets Christmas album. It's the Muppets Christmas oh, album. It's probably behind. Me. It's so it's on <laughs> vinyl. We have though. It's nice. the best. We love it. And, uh, and this, awesome yeah, this is this is a record store day exclusive today. Um, this is uh, the Offspring's, Offspring's greatest, greatest hits. hits. I believe it's a cool a blue variant or something like that. Um, this is an album that just came out a couple days ago. This is the original Slipknot album, one of my favorites of all time. Uh, back on vinyl. Ben likes his hardcore metal. I love uh, he me he's, metal, uh, heavy stuff. I'm unapologetic. Nice. No, he's yeah, he's very nice. But I just you like know, he's like, I'm, you know? I'm an agreeable guy who loves to listen to I just thrash like heavy metal. stuff. Uh, and this is uh, one of the cool releases uh, that just came out. This is Kirk Hammett, the guitarist from Metallica. This is his first ever EP. He released it just today for Record it's Store Day. Waited a long time. I know. To do long that. time. Yeah. So, okay. Well, yeah. If anybody has any, uh, I saw Tammy there. Thanks for commenting. If anybody has their record picks, they can also throw those in the comments. Yeah, I'd love to hear it. We want to make sure that we um, bring in our first musical guest, Stacy. Stacy Gable, Gable how are you doing? I'm great. Hey. How are you? Good. I want to make sure I turn your mic up here. All right. There we go. Hello. Yes. Testing, testing. We got you. <laughs> so how are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Fantastic. You were, you've been like Lehigh Valley Artist of the Year. I the have. Past. I have. And I'm still here. I made it through a pandemic. Can you believe it? No, it's fantastic that you were able to. Like, what yeah. were some, like, how did you make it through the pandemic? I mean, um, a lot of sitting on the couch and just thinking about stuff. <laughs> I don't know. How did any of us get right. there? Like, did, you do, did you do a lot of vir any virtual stuff? You know, were it's, you able to I did. I did a lot of virtual things. And that's that's probably what kept me sane because I could actually somewhat connect yeah, with people. That. And that was really important. So um, that was really the only way to connect with people was doing virtual gigs. <laughs> but I'm happy to not do virtual gigs. Yeah, no offense like, to Facebook today, but <laughs> no, I think Facebook's but this is, really there's people bad. here. <laughs> we can you know we can interact and, yeah this is our and, second camera if you see is showing um just a section of the compact disc center and everybody hello in here. there still are many vinyls <laughs> left out there. So um and what of what are you up to now that we are kind of yeah, Air quotes, I mean, out of the pandemic, you're able to, to play again. How yeah, I am. I so I, I wrote a lot during pandemic. So I guess that's how I filled my time. I put out a new song during pandemic. And then there was kind of a lull for a while because we weren't sure what was going to happen. Um, and I had a song ready to go, which I'm going to actually play for you guys today. But I was kind of holding on to it because I'm like, it's called Sunny Days. And I was like, I don't know if I'm right, quite ready to put that out, you know, like it's 2020 20 2021 so so here it is in 2022 because things are getting better and like i don't want to put out the optimistic stuff the optimistic this, yeah i was like depressed. maybe now's not the right time yeah. so i'm gonna wait okay. so i felt felt like february was the time like, who are you you happy jerk yeah, yeah. i know no believe me you would have been more at home listening to ben's music yeah. Very, yeah, absolutely. I got yeah. Very well. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, gigs are coming back now. Gigs are you. finally that's, coming that's back. Yeah. Here. There's going to be Music Fest. We've got Mayfair coming up. We've got like lots of yeah calendars filling up. So yeah, I saw you were over <laughs> it's at good. The, uh, the Phantoms earlier. I was. Too. was I saw you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was actually really fun. Saturday Night Live. Mm -hmm. So. So can you talk then about the song that you said that you just wrote and you're going to perform for us right now? Yes, absolutely. So it's called Sunny Days. And so there's a lyric in the song. It, it's very optimistic. So get ready for the sugar. Um, but yeah, so there's a line in it that says, you lift me up just like a hot air balloon. So it was inspired by hot air ballooning. And I kind of grew up with hot air balloons in my life, <laughs> believe it or not. No and wait, wait, what's that? How is yeah. that? Where does this, would you, like, what do you mean? <laughs> So um, I have a family friend who owns a hot air balloon. And so I grew up kind of chasing balloons, going in balloons since I'm little. I was little and, you know, they're they're a big part of my life. So I had this idea. I'm like inspired. It's very optimistic and colorful. And and that's where the song came from. And, and then um, because of that, I shot a music video during a pandemic at a balloon festival okay. so i got to go to new jersey and videographer and i re 
uh, Reed Creatia, we went out together during a pandemic and there was balloons going up in the air and he was going crazy. And, you know, you literally have like 10 seconds to get the shot. <laughs> so he's like, get up on the Apple box. Let's do this again. And I'm like, oh my God, let me start the song again. Let's do this really fast. So it was quite challenging because you have that like window of time to do this, but it was really cool. So if you guys get to go to YouTube, uh, the music videos on there and um, the rest of it was shot just in like, I guess, January or February of this year. So Sunny Days is a warm song and I ended up singing it in the freezing cold. It was like 40 degrees out. I have a heater at my feet and I'm my cheeks are all rosy. If you go to the video, you'll be like, oh, look how warm she is. But no, I was freezing. <laughs> Well, so, now, no, yeah, we get to see behind the scenes. The behind the scenes. So, well, yeah. I'm so, excited to hear it. So, yeah. well, it, it's cool. One more, one more little tidbit about it sure. is because um, it's a balloon song. I became kind of the balloon girl now. So, the Balloon Federation of America <laughs> has written an article on me, and, and I'm doing though. a tour now of balloon festivals. That's great. So, I start my the tour kicks off on Mother's Day. So, it's my I'm going down to Florida and doing oh, a balloon balloon festival. Well, that's. So I'm Fantastic. the I'm the balloon girl. Who knew? I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I'm taking it to the moon. So, do you want to you go in on a hot air balloon with me? I, no. I can totally I, I get you. This, this is terrifying. Have you been in one? <laughs> um, no, I haven't. It's I have the not. most peaceful. Like, it thing sounds horrible until I you mean. land. You never know where. Yeah, you're I don't gonna know. Land. I just like that. It's always a, a you know a surprise ending. <laughs> I'm not necessarily like scared of heights. It just is like it just seems like a confined space. Hundreds of feet in the air doesn't feel like a space I'd want to be in. Have I, you been you know in what? an airplane? Yeah, but then I kind of can just compartmentalize um, where I am. I don't yeah, whatever. You throw a little shade. You can cares. totally see exactly where you're going. I, <laughs> I think that's the problem. Yeah, that might be the problem. I will. Uh, I'm sure at one point in my life I'll try it. But if you had Stacey Gable next to you singing air, as we singing, did it, I will serenade you in a, a thousand times. Absolutely. A thousand feet in the air. <laughs> How can you pass yeah. that up? Okay. Sure. So let's so right now. It. I'm like really hyped to hear this. So well, you'll Stacey, have to sing along. Stacy Gable <laughs> with "Sunny Days." All right, you guys. This is my new song, "Sunny Days." I don't know where the camera is. Hi. Oh, just yeah, <laughs> just up this way. Good. <laughs> so sing along if you know it. Do you know it yet? I know parts of it. <laughs> Sunny days are warm and sunny.
did you play that entire song in, in hot air balloon when you were no, doing it? No, I did not. Because you know why? It's really, it's really hard to find someone with a hot air balloon who will allow a drone to be around. Uh, that's what, yeah. Well, yeah, because so it's that's, a horrible idea. It, that was my big plan, but it folded yeah, right. by, by that. But yeah, I totally understand. So yeah. the balloons are behind me. So if you see the video, they're literally like behind me, right. like while I'm singing. So, so it's so much fun though. Do you have, where can people find out more about you and so, all that fun stuff? Um, I have a website. I'm on social media. Stacy Gable Music is my handle. I'm on TikTok. I'm on Facebook. You can follow me there. I would love if you all subscribe to my my YouTube channel because that's my goal this year. Okay, what is it? I'm gonna put it Stacey in. Stacy Gable. Stacy Gable yes. on YouTube. Just on YouTube. That. Yep. Just and subscribe. Subscribe. And I'm trying to get to a thousand because then I can uh, monetize, monetize. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> make some money. So, my, so, so, my so we're in a record store. Uh, what albums kind of inspired you as a musician? Oh my gosh! So, um, so I have a very diverse musical background. I was just telling our mayor here. Hello. Hey, hey, <laughs> so long. So long. Hello. Do you wanna? Oh come on! Oh one chord. One no. chord. One no. chord. No. Oh just. Stay here. Oh, <laughs> please. Got the mayor playing oh. guitar. Gotcha. Oh, oh, this is great. You never know what happens in <laughs> record Maybe I'm staging me, but we might have not, a duo there's no, here. There's no, there's no there upstaging might... going on here. <laughs> there might be something so, yeah. here. We, we could take yeah, it yeah, you can, we, we, could, we, could, we could come up with something. <laughs> <laughs> no, please do it. This is very exciting. So this is a Martin, of course. Yes. Homegrown, high value. Well, you can, yeah, if you're not so playing you with talking them. about all your inspiration, I'm just gonna provide yeah, just so kind of like, well. this is inspiration right here. <laughs> so we can just write a song on the spot. So, record store, record store day, record store day. Here we are, it's record store day. Everyone, how are you? <laughs> We're getting more likes because That's of this, so you guys you can just take over the street, but no, it's. Muppets are right there. <laughs> We've got everything. We got depressing metal music We've got too. Depressing metal music. Ooh, my favorite. <laughs> What's favorite? So how awesome is this stuff? I mean, there's such energy. Yeah. This I is think awesome. there's there's a special spirit here. You walk in, it's got everybody coming in, just you know. This is where you need to be. Absolutely. I mean, there's but, so much history here. This is like my childhood in a. And even like CDs were great, right? But they didn't have that same, like buying a vinyl is just so different. Like you take it home, you want to read it, unpackage oh, yeah. everything and go through it. I so still, I still got a CD player in my car and it's glorious now <laughs> my CDs. I, I want my car to last forever because it's got a CD player. I think we, we have a CD player. Yeah. I mean, we use it now to, to hold the phone. Like <laughs> my phone laptop holder. actually, I have an old laptop. I will not get won't give it away because you know it has a CD player in it as long as it works. But I agree. Like we have to celebrate. These are the stores and the places that you want to, to you know, in a say Earth Days every day, but Record Store Day can be maybe once a week. Yeah. Least, we need you know. to celebrate. Like you were saying, who's my inspiration? Look around. Yeah. Like I, I just was, you know, browsing through some of this stuff, and it's like everyone's my inspiration. Simon and Garfunkel, The Beatles, Fleetwood Mac, mm -hmm. everyone. Anything like, you've ever listened to? Them. Everything I've ever listened to is like it's coming out in every song I ever write. So it's awesome. I know, and I think when you come here too, you realize that this is like just means different things to different people. And then like when everybody has the same kind of idea, it's like it's about the community, it's about small business, and the and it's stories. About, I know. The stories. We have so much stories to share. Like I remember playing that song. I remember where I was when I was playing that song. I remember buying those albums like the first time, like and the second time. Yeah, the second time. <laughs> Bought it on CD. Now we're rebuying things on vinyl. I know. It's great. Yeah, but Mary, the owner here, is just so great. Uh, you know, she's been one of the owners since '89. One of the nicest business owners I think in all of that lab. Uh, just really caring. Works six days a week here. Uh, you know, she's she's keeping this place alive. You know? Yeah. Um, she mentioned, you know, this day is bigger than uh, Christmas for, this for great, her yeah. store and well, there's for, a ton uh, of people here. Yeah. So yeah, this is this is fantastic to really see a ton of people like this out here. Yeah, um, great crowd. Um, Keeping keeping physical music alive. And there's still time. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel that we could have gone like at eight in the morning would have been good. 
but it would have been a little more crowded. Oh, yeah, but record store day goes yeah. if you woke Just up late, or if you had something to do in the morning like Earth Day, which a lot of people did, you can still come out. There's no Taylor Swift left. No I know. I showed up as a as a true it. hardcore Swifty, and I was, uh, you know, uh, they might have my CDs. So there you go. Sold out, totally. Sold out. So, and do you have any gigs coming up? I do. Um, so May Fair is coming up. I've just got booked for Music Fest. Okay. Awesome. Right. Yeah. So. Do, you, do you have your date uh, time? Are you playing at the new payroll plot? Yeah. Or I'm plot? playing on main stage <laughs> and I'm also doing like an intimate thing in the theater. So awesome. That's great. I awesome. get to do like a little bit of everything. So we are going to be fun. all we are going to be all over Music yeah, Fest yeah, yeah. because, you know, we're bringing it back, back to Payroll Plaza because yes. it hasn't I been there in like 11 that. or 12 years. So we're doing a whole big thing to to get uh to get some uh get some new bands there and get some get some fun going in that space but People it's wanted gonna, that space back for a long they've time, wanted so. for a long time so i talked to cassie in january yeah. and i was just like we will absolutely do it so it's gonna be awesome but that's awesome they're yeah. gonna be yeah be I'll back, be there. At, I'm there every be back year. at the fest and uh you know it's just gonna be uh, it's gonna be cool and we just got a lot of cool stuff going on in the music scene around here like you know we are making our as i said making our big announcement about stuff some yep. music coming yep. up in a that's not that. I forgot. Oh, I forgot this? Sure. It's not, it's not yeah. we can't say it. Oh, gotcha. I'm good that I call. I, I'm usually the one who messes that stuff just up. Just whisper. Gotcha. Well, we're just teasing it. Isn't that, isn't that yeah, part no. of the big tease? You told me earlier I could blow it all. Right yeah. Here. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, but, it's a lot of a lot of great stuff going on. But, people yeah, are excited. So. Do you feel, and even today, it's just like a spring day. I woke up a little bit later than usual. You go on Facebook and everyone's already out, you know? Dude, you were at like Earth Day stuff. There's people Everyone's downtown. Everyone's ready stuff. for yeah. live music. We're, it's yeah. time. It's, we need to get back together and, you know, see old friends and yeah. Yeah. figure out how to socialize again. Because that's yeah, it is on my <laughs> I came in today. We're like, do we? how do we shake hands? I don't remember how to do that. <laughs> I've been to some bigger shows recently, and people are amped to be there. Yeah. Absolutely. It's, it's like... It, the concerts this summer are going to be special. Yeah. People Every event that I'm going to in the community, music, yeah. culture, whatever, people are just excited to be a part of it. And I also think we lost something during the pandemic where we forgot about just how great it is to spend time with people. Like there's things you can do alone, but like that space between us when we're in person, like yeah. that, that's what makes, that's what makes life and living. And energy. Yeah. And just, yeah. yeah. Music's just a cohesive It's what brings force, us together. Yeah. Absolutely, but Love this it. is uh, this is great. 1989, right? That's yeah. when they that's when they opened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think I have this. Uh, now I'm dating myself, but I I came here at every age. So I was like 13 <laughs> and like you know, early 90s buying stuff, and then like Does it in, look the same. It, uh, a little, a little bit, same space. Late in late 90s, like buying the CDs to create the mixtapes for my girlfriend at the time. <laughs> Did Mary send sell you uh, some parental advisory CDs? So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think there were any laws laws right. broken there. Okay, good. But yeah, I grew up right down the street, so walking up here was always like, "Hey, mom, I'm gonna walk up and buy the buy whatever came yeah. out on the Tuesday." <laughs> like you know, so and then the, they had cassettes. I know. Careful what you were talking about here. Oh, do they have them? They're oh, they're up front. I'm pretty sure all of them have a W Reynolds inscribed on the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, so yes. Uh, Compact Disc Center. We got used vinyl, new vinyl, uh, uh, the CDs, new CDs, so old CDs. Uh, yeah. There's record players here too. Uh, there's even an old cassette. CD yeah. Yeah. Player so if you're, like, if you're yeah. thinking I want to get back into vinyl, yeah. you can come here, get the vinyl and the record mm -hmm. thing, and get out. All that stuff. Yeah. Very nice guitar here. Just, I think he's gonna yeah. steal your Martin. No, no, no. no. I, have, I have my own Martin. I have, I, have my, I have my own Martin at home, so you know we're we're good. But this is amazing. I'm gonna let you have your seat back here. All right. But you know, thank you. Well, thank you. Awesome. Welcome no, I, awesome. You know, I gotta get going to the next thing I have to go to. But you and know, watch the Sixers on your yeah. phone. Well, and yeah, you follow be... along. But you know, I got my I got my uh, records to, to go home with. So. What'd you get? Yeah, what'd you get? Uh, good? Uh, closing time. Tom Waits. Oh, that's yeah. good. Also yeah. one of my favorite albums ever. Uh, Neutral Milk Hotel. And, and yeah, that's a classic. Right. So another right. one that like takes me back to high school. So right. you know. Acceptable choices, I think. Uh, I good. appreciate your thing. You give me the <laughs> <acceptance>. <laughs> I don't think you'll lose any votes for that stuff. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway. All right. Very nice Thank you. Yes, yeah. absolutely. I'm we'll sure work I'll on be, that song. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around. Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. Unannounced mayoral visit is oh, always yeah. welcome. Yeah. It's so a and short musical appearance. Yeah, yeah. Right, we, yeah, now right. we have it on here. So that was like a fantastic. You guys are now a duo. Gonna say know, a little so play. We have like a partial yeah. song there. Right now. Yeah. Yes. Work on the that lyrics. Worked, that was good. So. Work on the lyrics. Gonna sell that song as an <laughs> right, NFT. Thank you. See ya. See ya.
another shout out to Bethlehem Mayor J. William Reynolds. We didn't even introduce him. I just said um, he's the mayor. I was like, oh, who's this guy? <laughs> yeah. I was like, who's like, who's like the guy? mayor's here. Come sing. So, Stacey, we're not kicking you out of here. Yeah, no. But we're going to get Bren set yes, up. And it absolutely. Might, you can maybe like, we'll kind of scoot you over so they have some room. Oh, but you can continue to talk. Over here. Yeah. We yeah. can still chat. We like hanging out with you, Stacey. Absolutely. You know? yeah. We'll get a little crowd here, too. Yeah. That's, that's nice. nice. Yeah, this is a nice little afternoon. Uh, so hopefully I'll see shop. you guys at a balloon festival. Heck, yeah. No, I, no, I'm, like, I'm joking around. I really think that that's awesome. I love it. It's, I'm, it's hey, I'm happy to be the balloon yeah. girl. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? There has it's, a, to, like, it's a cool niche. I love, yeah, it. I love it. I'm excited. What what, yeah, what balloon festivals are there? Like, how many are there? There's a lot. So, yeah, I mean, I'm still trying to get into Albuquerque. That would be pretty cool. Ooh. That's the biggest that's one. That's like, yeah, I've seen this. So if anyone has any pull there. That'd be funny but, if there was, like, another balloon girl from, like, the West Coast. And oh, then there you might guys, be. You guys met in a festival in the Midwest. That's, and then you had to, like, have an air balloon like duel. Yeah, as long as, it's not, as long as it's not, like, a rap beef, East Coast, West Coast, yeah. balloon people, I think we're good. Then we have, like... Put us in the ring. Yeah. We're like duking it out for <laughs> this. I, but, uh, uh, Martin Guitar Battle. Or whatever, are, uh, whatever West Coast models they have. Absolutely. There is a healthy amount of people in here. I am there uh, is. This is great. Well, it's a little worried because I was saying we should have done this at like eight in the morning, but you, you wouldn't have been able to. Nah. Yeah. But now it's, it's great. I think some people are here to see some live music too. Yeah. Absolutely. We're, I don't, I think, can you, do you want to like I help them? Yeah. yeah. I'll just snag it. I'll get this is all on the fly. If you need, bear with us as we set up for Bren. Hello. Bren, do you have a website I can put on screen, or what do yeah. you use? Um, yeah. It's www.whatthebrand.com. I love it. Yeah. And I believe what the brand on all the socials as well. Got it. These are the things that you should probably do ahead of time, but yeah. guys. Yeah. Yeah, we love showcasing some. We have Alley Talent here in the shop. Hoping to do some a little bit more of this in the future. I think you should. I yeah. think you should do more. Absolutely. We're going to put her stuff in the comments. You want me on this side? Yeah. Well, I mean, too, like, uh, more people coming in. Like, why wouldn't a space like this be used for performances once in a while? Exactly. You know what I mean? It doesn't all have to be in. Like, what's the difference between this and a coffee house minus some yeah. Dunkin' Donuts? Exactly. You know, so yeah. I, I think it'd be fun. For sure. I mean, you got a crowd here. This is. Love it. <laughs> We are in the middle of absolutely everything though. I feel yeah. I can't even help anyone. I don't know. We're all we're blocking is the Christmas albums. So I don't think oh, anyone's yeah. yeah, you got the Clay Aiken there. Who's the Clay Aiken three dollars? Clay Aiken uh Christmas. This looks like a this looks like a nice like uh now that's what I call music knockoff. Uh, absolute favorite. Is it Christmas. now this is absolute favorite Christmas? Christmas. So yeah. Um this is Dan Gibson's Solitudes. It's a really popular Christmas album for deer. It's fun. It's fun to go through all this stuff too. Oh hey. Oh hey. My guitar. All right. Okay, Ben. So we have Bren and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sorry. What is Joe? Joe. I'm Joe Raz. Yeah, Joe, Joe Raz. Joe Raz. All right. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> is this the smallest stage you've ever played on? I feel or? bad. Like, I actually, it or not, no. I feel yeah, I have a feeling that it I might not be. Bad. Like, <laughs> just, you can't see it, but there are um well, I guess you can. Like they, they have their amps there yes. they have about five square feet of space mm -hmm. and three instruments so i appreciate their <laughs> yeah the drummer's right here the drum, <laughs> yeah. there, there is no room <laughs> you could try you can squeeze it's in a, under the keyboard you can, a snare. yeah you can bang on the side of the, the in cabinets the, here in the cardboard box yeah all right. This is real indie style right here. This is, this is, this is, you, is you don't do this in. You can't 
like to use in the Target section, the record section of Target. Only here. All right, this is fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the sound is sounds good. good. Yeah. Rickenbacker. Alex, Ooh, that's a beautiful so thing. Nice, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. I love it. It's my favorite. You know what kind of wood that is? Walnut. Walnut. Oh, Walnut body, beautiful. maple neck. So, Five piece are neck. you guys ready? We're ready. Well, we we're want ready? to talk to you yeah, first. Right. I want to talk to you talk first. To you first. Ready. So, <laughs> thank, you, thank you so much. I feel bad. You guys are so cramped in there, but we appreciate oh you coming out. Oh, my God. Out. No, this is our whole deal. So, talk yeah. to us. Where, where are you guys from where do you guys play give us all that yeah good yeah stuff. so we are lehigh valley natives mm -hmm. um i grew up in i moved a lot but spent many years in easton nazareth all right bethlehem and allentown okay so, so everywhere you, you all the places there. yeah and then mm -hmm. joe here is an allentown native yep. How did you guys um, get connected? So a, funny story. Good. I've got this to ask. Funny story. Right. I so, like funny stories. Around 13, I started seriously playing guitar and I went to Dave Phillips Musical Sound in Allentown. Okay. Bought my first acoustic guitar and they offered free group guitar lessons with hmm. it. So I was like, oh, cool. So I went there and her dad, who's right there, the oh. right there, <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend, was my very first guitar teacher. No, oh, oh, I like that. To dad. Yeah. yeah. So yep. fast forward a little bit. Um, Joe's over at Berkeley College of Music in Boston, mm -hmm. okay, which was my dream school in high school. Um, so we both wound up going there at the same time mm -hmm. and reconnecting. Mm -hmm. He was like my Berkeley big brother. Yep, wow, Just, that's yeah. right. Um, and then fast forward a few more years, throw a pandemic in there. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Um, <laughs> Was it? <laughs> uh, more on that later. <laughs> Were you guys playing together previous, like prior to the pandemic, or no? No, um, okay. Just pals, and then mm. I decided to go full band mode as of beginning of or end of last year. Okay. Um, and Joe Raz came to mind, and it's just been How about a that? musical partnership. Yeah. Thank you, since. Dave Phillips. Yeah. Shout yeah. out Dave Phillips. Shout yeah. out my dad and mm -hmm. Bren's yeah. dad, of course. Who's um, who's better, you or him? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, that means he thinks uh, he's better. There you go. Oh, gotcha. There you go. That's the that's the political answer. So, um, and have you guys? You said you, only since last year you kind of went full. Have you been oh, able to gig during COVID? Probably not so much. How's it now? Not so much. Um, this is my first gig since beginning of last summer wow so yeah. it's been well, i feel honored again yeah. i feel bad yeah, that we no, stuck you really, in the corner yeah really glad to be here um covid was a really yeah. crazy emotional roller coaster i went through times of being super creative and just you know writing nonstop, mm -hmm. and then a bunch of nothing for a while you mm -hmm. know just how i was dealing but coming out of it now um Got a lot of new tunes on the way. All I'm right, excited yeah. to get the ball rolling again. So, are you planning any like a, a new record or anything coming up? Or yeah. okay. so, I finished tracking my first EP uh, that was back beginning of March. So, like middle of summer, expect a single maybe right. nice. single EP at end of summer. So, um, right now I do have one song out called Prom Dress, uh, which is available on. All uh, platforms. You might be playing that one. All right, all right. Well, Let's hey, see what happens. less of us talking. Yeah, they don't want us. You guys can start playing, and if you want to introduce whatever you want to do, yeah. I, I know you have at least one or two for us. So, yeah. oh yeah. All right. Um, so this first song is called "Happy Birthday." It's not the original "Happy Birthday." It's kind of my own spin on it, <laughs> but um. This was actually pre-pandemic um, when I had dropped out of Berkeley, kind of my like cosmic bubble blew up. I wasn't sure what to do. Um, 
past that point and was feeling really stuck. Uh, sort of this little melancholy jam. Um, but you know, the story's not over, and I'm super excited to be here and to get the ball rolling again. So, the story's awesome. just begin. That's great. Yeah. It's my 20th birthday. All eyes on me. Give me all your attention. Another year I have seen. Another year of my life gone. Still I have to say. So light the candles and sing now. Forget the band, let them play Birthday present for all of us. That was great. <laughs> if it's that, anyone's birthday. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's 
to you. That was great. Uh, and can you talk a little bit more? You you said about that song, but like what yeah. what was some of the uh, talk more about some of that inspiration? Yeah, of course. I was nineteen, going on twenty, um, and just I don't know. My whole thing was fun. Mm-hmm. I, that's all I wanted to do. Um, I had no plans past that point, really, to be honest. And like when that didn't work out, it's just like, well, dang. what now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do I, yeah, right, like, yeah. What do, I do with my hands? I don't. Right. Um, and then, yeah, I just I didn't know really how to describe that feeling either, because I felt pretty isolated in that. Mm-hmm. Like all of my friends are in college or pursuing careers that have this like set path, and right. I just want this thing. Like, um, I'm not sure how to go about it. Um, but I know, you know, now that I'm, I'm not alone at all, and especially during the pandemic, I feel like a lot of us have had our, you know, tracks just derailed. Sure. And, you know, especially mm-hmm. in the entertainment industry. And so, yeah, I just, it was one of the, you know, writing is my outlet and it finally made me feel like, okay, this is exactly what's on my chest. This is how I'm feeling. And, um, you know, after that song, I started to put put in some more work and get some more opportunities. So it's good. It's like a cathartic, like yeah. Very got this out of the yeah. way, and now I can <laughs> gun yeah. it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, That's how great. it. Yeah. yeah, music always is my first line of defense with anything where I'm like, I have no idea how to handle this. I will write a song and then move on. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, so, yeah. well, it's, you know, a lot of people here. Uh, I'm sure everybody yeah. here has those songs that. Help them Absolutely. through those times, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and especially for a musician to do that as well. Um, you know, I, you know, this record store day. We're here in a record store. What oh, are yeah. the albums uh, that inspired you to be a musician and just in your oh, life yeah. and stuff? Oh, I'd love to hear from both of you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we're wearing a Cure shirt, so I'm wearing a Cure shirt. Yeah, I do love cool. this album. Yeah. So, so you're not like the ironic, like I'm wearing a Nirvana shirt and I don't know who they are. You clearly, <laughs> yeah. I do. I would imagine you know who the Cure are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Um. Yeah, no, this is vintage. Uh, yeah. By vintage, I mean Hot Topic 2016. That's, that counts. Yeah, that counts. <laughs> Way back. I mean, anything in the before times. Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. Um, some big ones that are just like play through the whole thing for me are uh, either or Elliot Smith. Sure, yeah. That's my, he's my guy. My cathartic, sad, like just inspirational mm-hmm. hero. Um, speaking in tongues, talking heads has been on repeat a lot past few years um you know i very much enjoy the indie darling trifecta phoebe sure. bridgers mitski lucy dacus who was here last summer i believe over in bethlehem lucy dacus but, okay but um yeah they're just i love them. i love them. <laughs> so <laughs> what are some of yours yeah so some of my favorite albums are out of the blue from electric light orchestra i think jeff Lynne is a genius an underrated genius. All right. Uh, Abbey Road from the Beatles. All right. Um, uh, American Idiot by Green Day. Dukey by Green Day. Uh, and Paramore's After Laughter album I also really love. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nice. What, uh, yeah, what, what guitarist do you, or do you kind of model yourself after? Oh, great question. My dad. <laughs> yeah, well, besides your dad. My, uh, my teacher. He had a big yeah, that's good. Sure. Dave uh, Phillips. Yeah, so when I was young, it was Randy Rhodes a lot. All right. And then... <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, Chet Atkins was a big one for me, and then George Harrison's probably one of my favorite guitar players, especially really? his really... slide playing. Yeah, Interesting. yeah, I just love how tasteful and melodic his solos are. I just want to call out all the boomers and old people who always think we listen to crap music. <laughs> <laughs> but like, there's some of us who still listen to the good stuff. I promise. So awesome. you guys have a, another one? Oh yeah. 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 So let's get in again. You can you can intro it. Oh, Go yeah. ahead. So I mentioned before that I do have a tune out right now. Released it last year. Um, it is called Prom Dress. Um, this uh, this is a much lighter note. So this was about right out of high school. I was in a very not so cool little relationship with someone. I felt like because I was with them through like 17, 18, 19. Those are like the coming of age movie mm-hmm. years where I want to like, you know, be in an A24 movie and <laughs> pretend that I'm like, you know. <laughs> but um, I didn't get that with this person. I felt like I was missing out. Um, 
and then uh, moved on and, uh, you know, finally had those moments with someone and mm -hmm. felt like I didn't actually miss out, you know? So it was just like a cute little, um, I was happy to have those moments finally. Um, and it wasn't just They're trying to find out the Taylor Swift record. Uh, everyone's just gone. We don't have Taylor Swift left. No Taylor Swift is left. Go to her house. I don't know. <laughs> She'll love that. She lives in. <laughs> she's still living in Reading. I don't know. Go to her Reading house. But thank you to Taylor Swift once again, record store ambassador well, for thing. 2022. It's, I mean, as much yeah. as you make fun of it, the fact that if you're if it takes Taylor Swift to get people, hey, ex love it. whatever, more yeah. of it. It's I great. think she's a brilliant songwriter. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. not, you know, it's just because just yeah. it's super popular doesn't necessarily mean it. But she's it's fun. It's, just fun. it's fun, too, that they sold it so quick that her fans would just be like, whatever it is. Yeah. I got a button, though. Yeah, we all got we have little buttons today. It should just say, I missed out on yeah. Taylor Swift. <laughs> they should have these for when you come in the record store. You didn't get it. All right, here we go. Now we're good. Let's do it. We bantered. You're good. All right. Song <laughs> number two. I'm not good at multitasking. <laughs> All right, sir. Okay. Thank you. 
If you're enjoying it, we're enjoying it. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That was fantastic. Yes. <laughs> you guys, you guys have a gig coming up at the Ice House. Ice House. Right? Yeah. April thirtieth. April thirtieth. It's next Saturday. Awesome. Um, tickets online. We got a little event break going. Yep. So Sick. still with the door though. Yeah. Yeah. We're uh, you guys are gonna let the drummer play. We're gonna let him oh, yeah. this time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sorry, but drummer slash go talk. Yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> so. I, I mean, you, you guys are fantastic. I don't know if you Thank have you. elite. Do you have one more in you? Would want to do? Yeah. Untitled or breakup? Breakup. Oh, but I gotta go Woo. back. Oh. Stanny. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. All right. <laughs> like, there's people commenting that they love you. So I mean, <laughs> I, I think we have everybody. A store full of people. <laughs> so yeah. 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 People want more. I don't think they will mind if. Yeah. Um, Right. You take a minute. So you can follow Brenna at What the Bren on Instagram. Yep. Yeah. And, and I, I have a website up there too. So it's What the Bren kind of on everything for what website. The the board. Mm -hmm. and, and what um, is the show at um, the Ice, Ice House. House? What? So we got to me four bands. Um, it's uh, Super Dragon, Noah's band, Super Dragon. We got this Holy Rodeo. They're actually from New York. Um, but then we have other local bands. Now, is this, are you putting this on? Is that kind of like who's or it's, it's us as a unit. So the Ice House really wants to uh, right. like jump start yeah. their life. We've done some stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, yeah. So, it's great. Um, so this is very much a group effort. Um, we're trying to put together, you know, some local vendors, crafters, people, um, just to you know, make yeah. it more of a community event mm -hmm. than just yeah. For those who aren't show. familiar, the Ice House is on the Sand Island area of Bethlehem, and it's city owned. And they they do put on lots of there's an event tonight with George Rab, I believe, that's going on down there. But it's a fantastic venue that you know. Yeah, I can't wait to see more stuff. Know, and it's fun that you're when doing. Finally, you're bringing went, in bands from out of state. Yeah, like yeah. We yeah. all right. When we went there just to check out the space, we we're like. This is like, right. This is really cool. You're like, I didn't know it it's, existed, it's right? Huge on the inside. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just it's gorgeous. Um, and they have everything they need to put on shows. It's like made for it's, what you're doing, you know? Like, yeah, you feel like you should have yeah, a concert definitely. here for this. Yeah. I got that big part downstairs, the small one upstairs yeah. now. Yeah. But you really got the cool. VIP section, you feel cool. Exactly. Yeah, they have like, there's two levels. Yeah. Um, like, that's crazy. I don't know any other places in the valley that. I've gone to like, weddings there too. It's great. Yeah, yeah, it went off. It's great. Like, 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 I went there previously for a punk rock flea market. Like, really? Same yeah, yeah. Oh, it was pre-pandemic. It's been oh, a okay. while. You love a punk rock flea market. I'm in. All right, you guys good? We're ready. We successfully bantered again. Okay. Love it, love yeah. it. It's good practice. So for me. go ahead. You you can intro um, again. Um song's called Break Up Body. Um Maybe it's on the EP, maybe it's not on the EP. Yeah, we gotta wait to see. Um, but it's like post heartbreak, I'm over you anthem, but Rock. That's always Rock fun. And roll. Yeah. Rock and roll. <laughs> Feel free to flip over some stuff on your <laughs> <own>. <laughs> But if you break it, you buy it. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Good show, Craig. Okay. Th thank you yeah. guys for indulging us. Am I off mute? Yeah. Thank you guys for indulging us. And thank you, Ben. And thank you, Compact Disc Center. And yeah, thank you to yeah. Stacey Gable. And thank you to Mayor Reynolds for showing up. Yeah. And, uh, and thank you to everybody who came out. This is so much fun. Yeah. And this could be something. Let's do this again. Yeah, yes. And you guys are fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Do you have a new fan? Yeah. I'm not even kidding. Whatthebren.com and then at whatthebren. Ice House. Um, yeah. And Ice House again. What is that? April 30th. Yeah. Where can, can they find that on your website? Uh, or? On Instagram. On the socials. Okay, awesome. on the socials. Yeah, socials. we don't. What's a website what anymore? The but the brand. Okay. So when that EP comes out, tell Mary we'll sell it here in the shop. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Right, Mary? I like that very much. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. That'd Thank you awesome. guys so much. Right. Thank you, Ben. Um, there's still time to come out for Record Store Day. And re remember, you know, every day is Record Yeah, every Store, store Day. day. So yeah. just come out. Yeah. Yeah. Open until six today. If but yeah. If you haven't been to your local vinyl shop, go to it and buy some music and support local artists and support each other and thank you guys have a great day thank you guys so much thank you Brad. Thank, you. thank you everyone watching at home thanks y'all happy record store day thank, thank you Brad. george thank you Good george stuff. this is awesome man